Hello and welcome. Today we are doing a question from Leak Code called Jump Game. It is a medium. Let's get started. Given an array of non negative integers, you are initially positioned at the first index of the array, so that would be index 0. Each element in the array represents your maximum jump length at that position. Determine if you are able to reach the last index. Example 1, given an input of nums equaling 2, 3, 1, 1, 4, we output true because we can jump one step from index 0 to 1. And then from here, index 1, we can jump three steps to get to index 4, which is the last index. And example 2, we have nums equaling 3, 2, 1, 0, 4, and we output false here because we always arrive at index 3 no matter what, and its maximum jump length is 0, so it's impossible to reach the last index. So from here, index 0, we jump 3, index 1, we jump 2 to get to 3, index 2, we jump 1, 2 plus 1 is still 3. We always land on index 3, but its maximum jump is 0, so 3 plus 0 will never get us to index 4, which is where we want to go. So there are multiple ways to solve this problem. One approach would be to kind of explore all the possible jump paths. So if we know our maximum jump is two, kind of see what happens if we jumped one, if we jumped two, and then over here, if it's three, see what happens if we jump one, two, then three. So at each index, we would keep branching out to see what our next jump value could be in that path. So while this answer is valid, it does get computationally pretty expensive and there is a better way to do this. For example, taking this input nums, let's say we had another value at the end here, three. Now our maximum jump is at index three. So the rightmost value that we can approach at this point is index three. If we go to index one, we know it's valid. Like we can always jump here from index zero because our max value that we can reach, our max index we can reach is index three. So we're covered for index one, two. All we have to do is go from index zero, jump one, two, up to three. These are all valid indices that we can land on. So from here, we see our max index is still three over here from index two, our max rightmost index that we can reach is still three. Now at index four, even though we can reach the last position, we have to output false because we can never actually arrive at this index because our rightmost value was three, no matter what jump path we take, we'll never actually reach this index to then reach last. So as we iterate through, as soon as we land on an index that is greater than our rightmost possible value that we can jump to, we want to output false. Now, if this wasn't there, if this zero wasn't there, our maximum right index that we can reach at this point is zero, one, two, three. Same thing over here. We're at index one. One plus two jumps is three. Index two plus one jump is still three. Now index three, we can jump four. So now our right is seven. And this right is greater than equal to the last index we want to reach, which is at index five. So we output true. Otherwise, we just keep iterating and updating right as we see it. So let's just go ahead and code this up. We also want to start with right equals zero since we start at this very first index. So right equals zero. And our last index is length of nums minus one. All we need to do is a one pass iteration. So for i in a range length of nums, i is the index. So if i is greater than our rightmost possible value that we can jump to, we want to return false. Now, if this place that we landed on has another set of jumps that can increase our rightmost possible value, we want to update right. So if nums of i, the value at that index plus the index we are on, how many jumps from where we are is greater than from where what we can currently reach, we want to update that. So right equals nums of 
i plus i. And if right, the rightmost value that we can reach is greater than or equal to last, the last index, then we want to return true. So let's run code. It is accepted and submit. And it is accepted as well. So this is a O of n runtime and O of 1 constant space solution. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Oh, my God.